This week has been incredibly busy for news and it's only Tuesday. There have been a bunch of dev blog announcements, but I'm here today to bring you up to speed on update 091, which includes the British Heavy Cruisers, a rank season and upgrade changes. All on the bowling, kids, here's my darling. All on the bowling, bowling hall. The headline of update 091, which goes out on Wednesday this week to NA and CIS and to C and EU on Thursday, is the second half of the British Heavy Cruiser line release. When the update hits, the Heavy Cruisers become a normal tech tree line split between Tier 4 and 5, starting with Hawkins at Tier 5 and going through Devonshire, Surrey and Albemarle, the ships which you may have got from the bundles in 090. Those ships are joined by Tier 9 Drake and Tier 10 Goliath in a normal researchable line, so you'll be able to either start from Hawkins if you didn't get any of them in 090, or continue from whichever ship you have. I'll say this now before I forget, some of the missions in this update can be completed with London or Albemarle, more about London shortly, but you may wish to free XP your way to Albemarle with Tier 8, so you can complete these missions without needing the premium ship. The two new ships, Drake and Goliath, have a different character to the tier 5 to 8 which you saw in the last update. The 9 and 10 have a very effective repair party consumable which is able to heal a higher percentage of things like citadel damage. They also have 234mm guns with very effective HE, so watch out for these ships and give them a go. They're tankier than they look and quite dangerous in the right hands. This update follows the now familiar format of directive missions and token rewards. There are four directives to complete, each awarding tokens for completion, with premium tier 6 cruiser London being the prize for completing all the directives. London is uniquely a heavy cruiser with smoke and a hydro, and she's very interesting to play. There are also daily challenges for cruisers London, Cheshire, the new tier 8 premium, and Albemarle, the tier 8 tech tree ship, so I assume London will go on sale when the update goes live, and the notes say that Cheshire is coming at the end of February, and of course you're free to research Albemarle as soon as 091 is released. The tokens from the directives and the missions, as well as daily logins, can be spent in the armory to earn unique commander Andrew Cunningham, who will cost 1,000 tokens out of a possible maximum of 1,380 earnable tokens. Although getting 1,000 for free won't of course be easy, and you'll probably either have to free XP to Albemarle or buy London in order to complete the daily challenges to achieve this. Cunningham is worth having though, he has enhanced jack of all trades and slightly enhanced aircraft armour skills. He also has three talents, uh, lightning fast increases the speed of your ship and squadrons by 5% after getting two flooding ribbons, consumables expert adds one charge of every consumable when you get two kills, sink burn destroy reduces the reload of your main battery and torpedoes by 10% when you get the witherer achievement. These skills will make Cunningham useful on many ships including the British carriers, heavy cruisers, destroyers and battleships. As always, if you don't quite have enough tokens by the end of the update, which should last four weeks, you can top them up with bundles for 1,000 doubloons with each bundle giving 40 tokens. Uh, another unique commander will be returning in this update. Philippe Aubignon will be added to the armory for 175,000 coal. Starting on February the 26th and running for four weeks, Ranked Season 15 will be in a 7v7 format, including carriers, at Tier 10 in the updated Arms Race mode. Collected buffs will be given to all teammates regardless of their distance. A central area will spawn about halfway through the match and it will slowly shrink over time. Capturing this area will give a large points income. Buffs have been adapted to also benefit plane squadrons. The ranked rewards aren't listed in the patch notes, but on PTS they look like the same as previous seasons, with steel being uh, spread throughout the ranks alongside the usual signals, flags and camos. I covered this in a recent Express video, but just a reminder that Jean Bart, Smolensk, Flint, Black and Neustrashimi are all being removed from the armory in update 9.3, so you have 8 weeks to get the ones you want. Jean Bart and Smolensk won't be seen again anytime soon, and the other three will be back for coal no sooner than six months' time. 
091 brings a new map. Northern Waters will appear in tier 6 to 10 matches. It has setups for domination and epicenter modes. Uh, with large islands and open water in the west and many small islands in the east. I took a look at this map on PTS and it's certainly very good looking. We'll have to wait and see how it plays though. Um, I suspect the large areas of open water will make it quite a dynamic map to play. Upgrade changes. Firstly, legendaries. When 091 hits, it will no longer be possible to obtain the missions for getting legendary upgrades, otherwise known as unique upgrades. If you already have some legendary missions, you will keep these and you will have until the end of 2020 to complete them. Legendary upgrades will be added to the Research Bureau in eight weeks time with the release of 093. Wargaming have said they will introduce new legendaries and tweak existing ones after this happened. Worcester's legendary is changing with 091 though. The radar duration bonus will now be 20% instead of 10%. Secondly, special upgrades. When 091 hits, the tier and class restrictions on the upgrades you can buy in the armory for coal will be removed. If your ship has the appropriate slot and matching consumable, you will now be able to mount these upgrades regardless of tier and class. Thirdly, and most importantly, standard upgrades. 091 sees some major changes for the four credit upgrades, the ones you can purchase directly from port screen. Some are being removed and replaced, some are being merged, some are being changed, and there are some brand new ones. I won't read through all the changes here as there are quite a few. Instead, I'll put the details up on the screen and you can pause the video if you want to read them. Uh, you can find the details in the patch notes, which I'll link to in the description. When the update hits, you'll probably find that some of your ships have had upgrades removed and sold for credits, so you'll need to check your ships as you take them into battle to make sure they don't have vacant upgrade slots. For one week after the upgrade, upgrade D mounts will be free, allowing you to try out the new changed upgrades and tweak your builds for free. The changes I mentioned in a previous Foghorn to several ships including Hakuryu, Neptune, Gearing, Sinop, Kremlin and several deep water torpedo ships will be made in this update. They're just small tweaks. The in-battle UI has been updated so you might notice a slightly different look to some items including the destroyer symbol. The H key information has slightly changed and the HUD is now hidden using Control J for Juliet instead of Control G for Golf. For brand new players, the account level system has been slightly reworked. To existing players who finish the new account process, this means we will get rewards um, updated when we first log in to 091. Uh, this includes 15,000 coal, a super container, nine daily containers, and some premium time. Finally, with Premier World of Warships Tournament King of the Sea 10 coming in March, Wargaming have teased a new collection they'll be adding to the game to accompany the tournament. They haven't detailed the rewards yet, but they have shared these graphics of the collection items and what looks like a tournament crate. I'll of course be casting the tournament on Twitch and I'll also be joining Wargaming in Prague for the live finals on the first weekend of April. COTS 10 will use a 9v9 format with no carriers and two battleships maximum. Signups open for EU on the 7th of March for one week and any team can enter, you don't have to be from a single clan. Qualifiers start on the 22nd of March. Find the link to the COTS Discord in the description for more info on COTS for all regions. That's it from this 091 Foghorn. If you found this helpful, please do like this video. When you subscribe, please be sure to ring the bell for more updates. If you have a question, by all means, leave it in the comments or join the Statsfolk Discord link in the description, which is a very friendly place to learn more about the game. You can catch me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash statsbloke. And if you'd like to support me in making more content like this, head over to patreon.com slash statsbloke. Thanks for watching. Take care of each other and I'll speak to you soon.